Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with the Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and we are on April 25th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Dew where we look at space weather, world weather and anything else affecting humanity. Thank you for joining me. Starting out here, look at an active sun the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms, able to see lots of plasma erecting from all limbs Looking at the incoming imagery here, last 48 hours. Wow, large plasma filament erecting, whipping away there. And as well, outgoing images, very active sunspot shooting out more flares. Yet another C-class solar flare in an outgoing position from the same culprit that has released an M-class and two C-classes. And now this newcomer that caused that large plasma filament is well awake as well. Looking at it here, fiery action region forming right before our eyes. Wow. Amazing imagery coming out of Solar Dynamics Observatory. With a little bit of editing from Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Producing these images Thank you everybody for watching and subscribing and hitting that notification bell. It means a lot. You will not miss an update if you go to all for the notification bells. Looking here at space weather, planetary K index, we are low. We did receive a small G2 storm overnight and we're looking at our real time solar wind, which is about 490 kilometers per second and so that is elevated and continual we are seeing that uh, solar flare stream right now looking at the enril spiral for the next few days here space weather prediction no other space weather events have been blown away from the sun looking here at iswa and then our Schumann resonance for today, a power of 32. But if anybody saw the data that was here yesterday, it was very strange indeed. Look, it was a very elevated here and then it dropped here. And now all of a sudden, what we were seeing yesterday is gone. If you want to, if you're, if you want to see what we saw yesterday, check out the daily update from last night. It was, I believe it was a live stream. Looking here, the last 24 hours for earthquakes. We're starting out here most recently with a 5.3 here in Akara, Peru, at a 35 kilometer depth. As well through Chile today, 3.7 Anique. As well, mid Atlantic here, Ridge, a 4.9, 10 kilometer depth. Dominican Republic with a 3.8, 112 kilometer depth. As well, Puerto Rico seeing a few earthquakes. So that has become constant again through Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic, as well here through Mexico, Guatemala, 42 kilometer depth. Three of them in that region across the United States. We did see that 2.7 and then all of these earthquakes I reported earlier in the update as we do still have a continual swarm here in a dollar point California Lake Tahoe right on the border with Nevada. As well as seeing small earthquakes there. Stanley, Idaho. No major California earthquakes to report. Just overlooking here, we did have 17 earthquakes. And it started out with a 3.7 early this morning. If you want to see more details to what's going on there, please check out the video that was released this morning. And maybe check out the Dormant Volcanoes video that I was 
that I released yesterday. Looking here through Alaska, minor activity through the regular culprits, Elf and Cove, as well Hawaii here, Nopopo, 2.9, largest to report. Deep earthquake here in Sepan, Northern Mariana Islands, over 500 kilometer depth. So watch for larger, shallower earthquakes to follow, folks. We already had one in South America, 5.3. Looking here through Indonesia as well, 5.0, 4.5, 4.8 to report. And then our largest earthquake to report today here, a 6.4 Tonga region, 200 kilometers west, southwest of Havaloko, Tonga. And, and it was a very deep earthquake as well, 4.7 there, Hai Hai Fo, Tonga. Lonely 4.3 here, Tajikistan, 138 kilometer depth. Nothing to report throughout that region, but Volcano Discovery does report a lot more earthquakes through China, quiet through the African plate. And as well, Volcano Discovery does report more earthquakes from Iceland as well. Looking at the last seven days from earthquakes, USGS, you can see. A lot of deep, elevated rings across the planet and a quiet African plate. Increased seismicity through central, but not really enough to release the immense pressure that our planet seems to be under as we were seeing all of these deep thrust earthquakes. So please, everybody have a plan. It's all about staying aware and prepared. No fear here aware and prepared. A lot is changing on our planet and I want to thank you for joining the family. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, most recent volcanoes to update, ERA in Japan, Reventador in Ecuador, Semisnepochnoi in the United States, as well ERA in Japan, which is never listed here for some reason, uh, Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Popo in Mexico, Tacono, Indonesia, Fuego, Guatemala, Sabancaya, Peru, Sangay, and Ecuador, Sinabung, Indonesia, Semeru, Indonesia, and Pacaya in Guatemala from three days ago. So that's only about eight volcanoes getting updated for active eruptions. Today, we know that we have 41 to 42 that are active and erupting. Overlooking Weather satellite imagery, we have no named typhoons or tropical systems, but Surigay is still spinning in the Pacific Ocean, very deep, lower level low, which I will be showing in the five day forecast coming up. And apparently, uh, tropical cyclone Jobo is gone too. Looks like the low pressure center is heading to Uganda. Watch for that to increase some moisture throughout central uh, Africa the Congo regions over the next few days. Looking here, the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike, starting out here in home base, Calgary, Alberta, as we're going to have a temperature swing yet again, seeing temperatures go up to 19 for Wednesday and Thursday, really warm temperatures moving in. But we do still have low-pressure systems that are dropping a lot of snow and bringing cold temperatures from the north, not too far north of us, just over the Hudson Bay. So, yeah, it's not over yet. Big high pressure ridge in the Pacific Ocean. It's going to thwart these low pressure systems northward into northern coastlines of BC. And as well through the border with the United States. But that low pressure system will be heading northward in the long range forecast. So a lot of moisture here heading towards the West Coast, British Columbia, and as well, Washington, Oregon. But big high pressure ridge keeping things dry all along the coastline. Big system here developing over Colorado as systems are thwarted northward. Big system here sets in and develops moving southward over the Gulf. Watch for it to bring in a lot of very warm moisture 
This could be a very intense situation for about six states over a two day period as it funnels up a lot of Gulf moisture into our still very cooler Northern Hemisphere. So watch for an extreme weather event across the United States and into Ontario as that system moves through. That's right, folks, and parts of northern Ontario will see snow on the backside of that big system. Overlooking the Atlantic, high-pressure ridge developing, small low-pressure system here off of Africa developing, and as well, low-pressure system heading into Spain and then through Central Europe. Going to cool things down yet again across the nation. Low-pressure system parts of Eastern Europe hanging around keeping cold temperatures looming. West Indies, very dry. East Indies, dry. China, Southeast China, drying out in the long range forecast. Big system here developing out of China, heading into Japan. Watch for torrential downpours for a couple days here. Could see extreme weather throughout Japan Wednesday into Thursday. Overlooking Malaysia, Indonesia, no major weather events to talk about. Daily evaporation rains continue and as well continual rain through parts of northern Australia. Big high pressure ridge get ready to move out of Australia. Could usher in some rain later in the week and then drying things out through New Zealand. Overlooking Hawaii, low pressure system north of you. Could bring down a wave of moisture here Wednesday into Thursday. As it pushes through, it could have a low develop. Other than that, big, deep, lower level system here. Tropical Cyclone Surrogate, Tropical Typhoon Surrogate. You can see in the long range forecast, it's not even going to make it over the Aleutians. Deep, deep, lower level trough. Interesting. And this is what I've been talking about and warning about for the past four years. Is that with the collapsed magnetosphere, we're going to see these events unfold. Extreme weather. Extreme lightning strikes. Numerous lightning strikes. Overlooking South America, no major weather events except for heavy rains through coastal regions. Panama, Colombia. Other than that, daily evaporation rains. Southern Argentina and parts of Chile. You could see continual rain here, large atmospheric river of moisture, which I noted in the last couple days. Again, looking over Africa, no major weather systems. It kind of looks like this low pressure system, tropical cyclone Jobo is heading towards Uganda. We'll see, we, we shall see. Again, very strange forecast. Welcome to the new Mania Ice Age. Welcome to Earth Changes right before our eyes. Our eyes. Thanks everybody for watching today. Much love for humanity. Prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. We're going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Much love. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.